Are you struggling to keep your machines running 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Well, we're here at Ritchie Precision to see why they chose the Lang Robotrex automation system. So, Greg, we're here at Ritchie Precision to talk about your Lang Robotrex automation system. Yeah. But before that, can you tell us a little bit about Ritchie Precision and the work you do? Yep. So, we're a small that has grown over the last few years business. Uh, we specialise in CNC machining. We originally have a, a large company that is industrial lasers, um, and then we've moved on to a lot of medical work over the last couple of years as well. Um, well, you actually have three buildings as well, don't you? We have three buildings, yeah. So we've got two machine shops and a standalone clean room, um, which was a requirement for the industrial laser work that we do. So let's get on to your Lang automation system because yeah. you didn't just buy one of these, you bought four yeah. and they're all attached to your DMG Mori machines. Yeah. So why did you uh, invest in so much automation? So we kind of learned from our mistakes when we started working on the tight tolerance stuff on, ro uh, on machines without robots. We have to run the machines 24 hours once the job's set, otherwise the temperature control, the sizes move, your scrapping parts. With the robots, we found with temperature control in, the, in this factory and the robots running the machines constantly that we're achieving the tolerances required at high volumes. Um, we've got guys that work day shift, make sure the machine's running well, and then they leave it running, lights out every night coming in the morning to good parts. Because I know we were talking before this and you were saying if that if this machine stops for 20 minutes, then you have to run the whole warm-up cycle again to make yeah. sure tolerances are, are right for every part. So does that make the Lang system work for you? Because obviously you can get one trolley loaded with parts yeah. and then once that's finished, you can pull it out while the other trolley's still working. Yeah, it's so efficient. So. We could be running the robot all day and coming to the end of the day, we could pull the trolley out while it's still running, reload the trolley, put it back in, and that's it, set up, ready to go again. So there's actually no, there's, there's no, no time down, for it to stop? No downtime. Which obviously must help you guys as well, because as you were saying, you're running 24 seven. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Um, especially as I say, with the tight tolerance work, the machine can't stop and that stops that from happening, so. so how easy was the this system to implement? Because obviously, it doesn't need no hydraulics or pneumatics. No, so it's almost retrofit. It's it's fitted DMG and Wang. It, it was set up quite seamlessly, so we can run off programs that we've had for years for these machines, and simply add a sub program to initiate the robot. So how easy is it to set up and just get running? So say you say you've got a, a new batch of parts coming through. Yeah. How easy is it to set the robot, or do you even need to so set the robot? So there's no there's no there's no difference. Uh, you you just add a sub program at the end and that loads your robot up with your uh, your bases and your billets and then off you go. That's that's it. So overall, how easy is it to set up and run this system? It's extremely easy. Um, everything was set up with Lang. They got us up and running. So it is as simple as adding the sub-program and loading everything into your robot trolleys and off you go.